Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I'm working on Toyota Corolla Allion 2008 1.5-liter car. Customer complaint was check engine light is lit, power lagging and low fuel efficiency and there is a engine knock also when acceleration. Okay, I'm going to hook up the scan tool and get the health report first. Let's see what could cause to lit the check engine light. Here you can see the full health report of this car and simultaneously you can see engine control module has set P0172 system to reach bank 1 code. So this code caused to lead the check engine light. Customer told that this fault has been around for a while and few garages tried to fix it. They have replaced set of new spark plug, two ignition coils, air fuel sensor and they have done the engine tune up two times. Anyway, what it means this system to reach fault code? Simply system to reach means that the more fuel ratio than it should be in the air fuel mixture which was taken into the combustion chamber for the combustion. Okay, next I go to the live data stream and check the data stream to find what could cause to this switch condition and what are the abnormal data in the system. Here you can see the long term fuel trim is minus 38% which caused to set the P0172 system to reach code and lit the check engine lamp. So these data pits are in the idle and here you can see the mass airflow rate is bit over value in the idle on this 1.5 liter engine. Normally this engine should be around 1.6, 1.7 gram per second around. So this situation could lead into a rich condition. But I don't know will it bring so higher fuel trim like 38%? Okay, what I am going to do is clean the mass airflow sensor and check the fuel trim data back. Okay, mass airflow sensor was cleaned and reinstalled. Let's check the scan data for is there any change. Amazing, I let the engine to idle for a while and do you see that long term fuel trim drop to minus 20? Simultaneously, MAF sensor reading also dropped around 1.6 grams per second. That means MAF reading has had some effect for the ongoing rich condition. However, this minus 20 of long trim is too high and definitely it will set the code back again and check engine light will be lit. Obviously, there is something that caused to run this engine into a rich condition. But off camera, I observed scan data carefully. Really, there is no any abnormal data in the system to consider. So, now my opinion is something that is not be monitored in the scan data is interfering to this rich condition, such as spark plug ignition system or fuel injectors. Because we can't observe injectors and spark ignition system through the scan data. So, I already did an inspection on the spark plugs. Really they were almost new and looks good as the other shop recently replaced them to treat this problem. Ok, my next approach is remove the injectors and set them into the injector testing machine and observe the injector flow rate and are they leaky injectors to lead this engine into a rich condition. Ok, I removed the injector rail here which is pretty easy to do that job on this engine. So let's set them into the injector testing machine and we'll see what is going on. Here you can see I set the injectors into the machine and look at that how bad injector flow rate and the volume. Normally all the 4 cylinders should have identical volume but here you can see number 2 injector has higher volume than the others. And all the 4 cylinders are not identical too. So I am pretty sure this overflow rate of the injector lead this engine into the rich condition. Because I do always engine tune ups and do this test with injectors all the time but every time I get fair and quite identical flow rate and the volume with good set of injectors. These are bad injectors. Next I have put them into the ultrasonic bath for have a try to restore these injectors. Let's see. Again I fit them into the machine and this is the result I got. Definitely bad injectors cannot be restored. Ok, I am confident enough to call on these injectors and this car need a set of new injectors. So, we got the exact same injector rail with the injectors for exact part number from local Japanese reconditioned part seller. Here is that reconditioned Japanese injector set is being tested. First put them into the ultrasonic bath to clean and next into this machine. Here is that existed set of bad injectors. Look at this, pretty consistent flow rate. No issue, this injector set is good to go. Ok, let me install these injectors into the engine and we'll see what happened to the fuel trim data and the rich condition. 
Okay, install the injectors and start the car. Let the car to be idle for a while. Wow, look at that. After a while, long term trim dropped to 0 and short term trim just stay around minus 5 and 6, which is pretty good and normal. This minus 6 is an acceptable value and it might be changed by let it to be run bit longer or take this car for a test drive. Confirm this car is fixed. No more rich condition and fuel trim has been dropped dramatically. Actually it was challenging to diagnose the exact cause of rich condition in this engine. Few other shops were misled and start to fire the part cannon. Remember, analyze the scan data is the first and best way to dive deep into a fault. It will take you to a right direction. And always make sure check the data again and again to confirm that the issue is fixed with your treatment. If not the data comes to normalcy mean car is not fixed. Now you can see short term trim has been dropped to minus 4 around. So we went to test run. Scan data looks good, no heavy trim which mean no more system to rich code or check engine light. Anyway, customer expressed that he feels smooth and better pulling power and no more knocking sound too. So this car is fixed. Thank you for watching. Stay subscribed with us for more diagnostic videos.